Let us begin, though, on a Thursday morning with our top story, the tragic murder of a popular high school teacher in Massachusetts and the 14-year-old now in police custody. Ron Allen has the latest on this. Ron, good morning to you. Good morning to you, Matt. Yes, there are no classes here today at Danvers High, although grief counselors will be on hand to help students, staff, teachers, the entire community as they try to deal with what happened here. The teacher, Colleen Retzer's body, was found on the edge of the school grounds in those woods right over there. And the freshman student, now in custody, has been charged with her murder. Hundreds came together for a candlelight vigil at Danvers High last night to remember 24-year-old Colleen Ritzer, a beloved math teacher, in just her second year here, now suddenly gone. She cared about all of her students equally. It was a shame. She said no, teacher. <laughs> The Boston Red Sox also honored Ritzer with a moment of silence before last night's World Series game at Fenway. 14-year-old Philip Chisholm, who recently moved to the area from Tennessee, has been charged with her murder. The criminal complaint says he was arrested after being interviewed and based on video surveillance footage recovered at the school. No motive has been given. She was always making everyone else's day better than hers. Richard's personality shined through on social media, on her Twitter page describing herself as a math teacher often too excited about the topics I'm teaching. She was just a young, caring girl that had the whole world ahead of her. And to be taken just so tragically, it's awful. Just out of college and attending grad school, she still lived with her parents in nearby Andover. Her hopes for the future expressed on Pinterest, where she highlighted a life's goal, to have a daughter and name her after my grandmother. She's an inspirational leader. She's made such a big impact on so many of her students' lives. A legacy embodied by a quote that Richard displayed prominently on her Facebook profile from Boston area poet Ralph Waldo Emerson. To know even one life has breathed easier because you have lived, this is to have succeeded. There was a huge outpouring of grief and emotion here at that vigil last night. This town is absolutely devastated. As for the student charged in the murder, he's being held without bail. He has entered a plea of not guilty, and for now, the courts are treating him as an adult. Matt, Hi, Ron Allen in Massachusetts on this story for us this morning. Ron, thank you very much.